today I'm gonna make some side rails so last episode we got these guys welded in nice sturdy base to weld on some side rails I'm gonna hammer the seam flat so I have a nice angle clearance for the side kickers to come out like some round two probably three of them and then I'll have this 2x2 two two square tube running just out a little bit enough to become a step and a base for the tube to come off of for the EXO. And just low enough so the door can clear, but it'll also protect these rails and keep the body from getting crushed. To start off with, I made some marks because I want the front and the rear of these to be boated, kind of angle of attack, whatever you want to call it. But because it's two inch, you have to cut right here, three quarters of an inch shy. And then that way, when I cut this plate out, this little taco, and then all the way across will be gone. And then this little taco will be gone. And then this piece can be bent and welded all the way around one solid piece and then uh, just less cutting and welding. If I cut all this out, bend it, weld it, we're done. So I'm gonna mark these out, two of them. I should be able to get two. Yeah, 60 inches is five foot and it's 61 and a half. So we're still under 12 foot. So this is a 12 foot stick. They come in 24 foot. Luckily they already had it cut so I didn't have to pay to cut it. So I got two 12 footers. That's enough for my Jeep and Rusty's. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out though. Get them at least cut and welded before lunch and then I can uh, go ahead and start making the side the standoffs for the frame to these hopefully I can get these knocked out today and painted and then that way the next project will be getting the tubes going up and over the fenders to the front end then I'll have somewhere to mount a hood and headlights and tabs for the radiator and uh, then the only thing stopping me from being road legal would be tail lights so let's get this shit done. There. See, you just cut out this piece. And now this can be bent and it'll actually cover the entire hole. So it'll just be one, two, three welds. And it's done. Now I just gotta do the same thing to the other end and then mark it out again for the other side. Finish all my cuts, I'll weld them up, and then I'll start working on the standoffs. with you again